My name's Kenny Hamas, and I'm going to prove to you that severe ulcerative colitis can be completely healed by showing you my before and after colonoscopies and showing you exactly what I ate to get better. In 2014, I was diagnosed with severe ulcerative colitis. I experienced a flare that was so bad I was filling toilet bowls with pure blood. After weeks of constant bloody diarrhea throughout the day and night, I was eventually hospitalized. I lost 30 pounds in two weeks, had four blood transfusions, and was just barely able to avoid having my colon surgically removed. The pain, embarrassment, and fear of going out in public was life-altering, but I refused to accept living like that for the rest of my life. So I spent the next two years studying, learning, and experimenting with different dietary approaches. I didn't want remission. I wanted to be healed. And my definition of healing is this, to be able to consume a full range of foods without bleeding, mucus, urgency, or diarrhea, to have well-formed, solid bowel movements, and to be on no medication, to be healthy. I wanted to be able to go out and eat with my friends and family without fear of soiling myself. And my answer was the gut microbiome. A compromised gut microbiome is something that's been touched on in research studies for years as a possible cause of inflammatory bowel disease, but for some reason it's never been confirmed. So I dove deeper. As I read study after study, I realized that a compromised gut microbiome is something that we all IBD patients seem to have in common. So I wondered what would happen if I optimized my gut microbiome and reversed the dysbiosis. So that's exactly what I did by following a few basic nutritional principles and concepts that I'm going to show you. And the results speak for themselves. I'm in clinical and endoscopic remission, but it's so much more than that. Absolutely no intestinal inflammation, no ulcers, no mucus, no bleeding, and no medication. My goal and definition of complete healing has been achieved. And this is how. I stopped drinking tap water. I swapped it out for reverse osmosis purified water because I don't want any chlorine or chemicals in my water that could kill off the good bacteria in my gut microbiome. I do intermittent fasting to give the digestive system plenty of rest. I only eat two meals per day, and my first meal is always a massive sleep. Probiotic bacteria is essential for an optimized gut microbiome, so I make sure to consume large amounts of prebiotic soluble fiber from fruits because probiotic bacteria feed off of prebiotics. My favorite prebiotics are specifically blueberries because they've been shown to help alleviate and protect against ulcerative colitis. I eat at least two cups every single day, maybe more. And I love chocolate. Cacao powder is another one of my favorite ingredients because it's a prebiotic as well as an awesome anti-inflammatory that's been shown to alleviate ulcerative colitis. And then the most important ingredient, raw unpasteurized milk kefir. Kefir is a type of sour milk that has been around since the biblical times and has been shown to heal ulcers in modern research. The fermentation process makes it suitable for people with lactose intolerance and makes it extremely high in probiotic bacteria. One of the best foods for the microbiome. God designs things pretty cool. In my studies to further analyze and look for similarities between patients with IBD, I discovered that IBD patients can often have a stagnant and clogged lymphatic system, causing inflammation to be trapped inside the intestines. The incredibly simple solution to this is to exercise, because the lymphatic system is powered by musculoskeletal movement. So lifting gets the lymphatic system flowing and helps dissipate that inflammation by allowing a functional trafficking of immune cells. I eat my second and final meal about six to seven hours after my first meal. This is where I'm really flexible and it's my favorite meal of the day. It usually contains some sort of meat and potatoes and this is my favorite variation of it. Steak, potato wedges, and guac. The goal of each meal is to have a high content of prebiotic and probiotic foods. Grass-fed beef is extremely nutritious, but the specific microbiome enhancing foods in this meal are potatoes, guac, fermented veggies, and raw milk. Potatoes and avocados are fantastic prebiotics since they are both full of prebiotic soluble fiber. The probiotic foods are fermented vegetables and raw milk. 
fermented foods have been shown to be high in live probiotic bacteria and have a very extensive list of health benefits that include being an antimicrobial and an antifungal, as well as reducing inflammation and stopping diarrhea. Homemade fermented vegetables and raw kefir are my two fermented food powerhouses that are huge microbiome optimizers. That's it. It can be that simple. These are the nutritional concepts and principles that I use to heal myself. And if you look at other people who are healing, because it's becoming more and more common, you'll see that they optimize their gut microbiome in one way or another. It doesn't have to be my way, because there are several routes to optimizing the microbiome. I just like my way best. I know what it's like to hurt from IBD. I know what it's like to be sick. I understand the suffering. I understand that broken feeling. I also know what it's like to get better. It's a very difficult process, but it's very, very possible. Getting healed is hard, staying healed is easy. But I really believe with all of my heart that the majority of people can heal from IBD the same way I did by optimizing the gut microbiome.